Okay, I'm doing this for some of the EMTs out there to get a basic understanding of how blood flows through the heart. Okay, so blood is going to come in through the top here, through the superior vena cava. Okay, it comes in right through the top. Remember, the atriums are both on top and the ventricles are both on the bottom. This is just a very simple explanation, okay? So blood enters the atrium. It goes into, by the way, that's the right atrium. So remember, right atrium. Now we're talking anatomical right, right? So just because it's on the left side of the screen here does not mean it's not the right. Turn that around, this is the right side. So it's coming in through the right atrium, going down to the right ventricle. Okay, now it leaves the ventricle and it's going to go to the lungs to be reoxygenated. Remember, blood that comes in to the heart has been deoxygenated. It's already been used up by the body. So right atrium, right ventricle into the PA, which is the pulmonary artery, right? The pulmonary artery is the only artery that has deoxygenated blood. It's important to know that. It's on a lot of tests. Okay, so it goes into the lungs where there's oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange. Then it comes back through the pulmonary vein, right? PV, pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein is the only oxygenated vein in the body. Remember, blood comes in through the top, through the atrium, comes in through the left atrium. Now it's on the left side of the heart, down into the left ventricle. And this big left ventricle here will push all of the oxygenated blood out to the rest of the body to be used and it comes right back around again. All right, I hope this helps. Again, this is a very simple explanation. For a more complex explanation, go to Munden Interactive.